your restraint. What happened to your restraint? Oh, you know, I think maybe I, I, I lost some weight after the surgery or something. I mean, my hands just slipped out. Your hands? Yep. I need you in here, please. Is there a problem? Well, the patient's restraints are loose and she needs to be supervised at all times. Aaron, Aaron, can you please come in here and tighten the patient's restraints? Thank you. There you go. And I'm not gonna say thank you, Aaron. So these are more comfortable than handcuffs. <laughs> Dr. Robinson. Oh, hi, Kevin. I was just in with Heather Weber. <laughs> My apologies for that. Yes. I see a, a change in her since her surgery. The difference is, to be honest, quite striking. A, a difference in Heather? You know, maybe you should try telling that to someone who didn't almost lose their daughter to that mad woman. Wife. Husband. And what is this dynamic duo up to? Oh, you will read about it tomorrow on The Invader. And possibly the next day, depending on how fast the hospital's PR can draft an appropriate comment. <laughs> so the contracts are signed? They are signed, sealed, and delivered from <laughs> now on. The city employees will have access to GH's health plan. Congratulations. I know the work you put in to make this happen. Yeah, I have to admit, it feels really good. <laughs> so are you headed home or back to City Hall? Uh, no, actually, I thought that since I'm here at the hospital, I should go visit Heather, you know, sort of fulfill my Weber family duties. Mm, you're too good. I am, yeah, aren't I? Yeah, find me after. I will. Okay. I love you. Okay. <laughs> All right, have a good one. Uh, Alexis, yeah. do you have a moment? I was wondering if I could run something by you just to get a legal opinion. Now, you know that I cannot advise you legally. However, I can speak to you as a friend who has read a few blog books. Fair enough. So, hypothetically, let's say someone has been convicted of horrible, heinous crimes. But we've since learned that there were mitigating circumstances, something that wasn't known during the trial, not because someone hid it, but because no one knew it existed. You're talking about Heather Weber. 